that was a bit resistant, you know, that's been having, you know, you've been doing everything and it's like, ah, it's still not, you know, it's not yielding the outcome that I truly desire. And so let's look at that. Let's see what's happening for you that is not the quick fix. Because the quick fix isn't going to give you everything that you need. It's going to give you, um, John and I were speaking, he's like, you know, I, it's almost like a little jealousy when you see somebody come in and they get that, you know, they get that, wow, it's amazing because they haven't had the opening, the spiritual awakening, I should say, or the, um, uh, we'll call it the personal development enlightenment, you know, whatever you guys want to call that. They haven't, had, they haven't had that in a while, and so it's like really opening for them. And then when you're doing the work for a while, you notice, oh, you got to keep doing the work. And then when you don't have the result that you want, it gets a little, well, let's just say what it is. You know, it pisses you off. It's like, why isn't it working? What have I done that it isn't, you know, it's getting glitched? Well, it's because we have to have a consistency in order to have it for forever. So it's not, we're not trying to fix something, you know, in a year. We're not trying to, we're trying to have it be the way you live your life forever, Right? That's going to take, you've been living your life the other way for a very long time, so it's going to take a little bit of work in that. And we have to continue to have the commitment, the passion, the um, devotion to your own awakening. And when we call it an awakening, it can be, it doesn't have to be this, you know, ah, spiritual thing. It can be just your everyday choosing oatmeal, if that's what you know is the healthy thing for you, or choosing the Danish because you've been really healthy and, and you need something that is a little sweet. Do, do you get what I'm saying? Some of us get into that routine of it only can be this certain thing, this healthy thing, instead of some of you won't have, you know, a candy bar because it's not healthy. And it gets rigid. And then, I, like I was saying last night, you know, in, in class, I said I have a lot of, I know a lot of healthy, unhealthy people, meaning they're health fanatics. And if you look at them, some of them are very unhealthy, right? They have stomach issues, they have back issues, they have, you know, and I've done this work for a really long time, so it's not to cut anybody down. It's to say that any routine that is not um, feeding you any longer will be detrimental. So you got to mix it up. So what I heard. You